Hello everyone. In this video, you will learn how to send multiple images along with text messages through Excel, just as we do in Mail Merge. So watch the video till the end and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. As you can see here, I have opened an Excel file. There is a list of phone numbers with country code in column B. Country code is must. Without it, you will not be able to send messages. In the next column, column C, here we will concatenate our final message from column D, E and F. In column D, we have our greeting message, hi, hello and so on. In column E, we have recipient's name, Emma, Ron, Amber, John, Harry, Alicia. In column F, we have our main messages. So we will concatenate D, E and F into C to get our final draft. Let's go to cell C2. Insert equal sign. Select cell D2. Now in function bar here, enter and shortcut key. Enter double inverted comma. Enter space. Again enter double inverted comma and again enter and shortcut key now select cell E2 enter and shortcut key enter double inverted comma now long press space bar enter double inverted comma and again enter and shortcut key now select cell F2 and press enter we have long press space bar because we want it to create a line break. Now select this cell C2 and drag it till the end or just double click it. Finally our text messages are ready. Now let's move towards image links. In column G here we will add our image links. As you can see here we have made a folder and we have put all of the images in this folder. All images should be in the same format, either in JPG or PNG. Name these images according to the names given in Excel file. And as you can see here, we have named these images with recipient's name, Alicia, Amber, Emma, Harry, John and Ron. In images folder, click here on address bar and you will see the folders location link. Now enter backslash key, select all and copy it. Now open excel file, paste the copied link here and drag it till the end. Now go to cell G2, enter equal sign, select cell H2, enter and shortcut key in function bar here select cell E2 again enter and shortcut key enter double inverted comma type dot jpg again enter double inverted comma press enter and drag it till the end we have typed .jpg as our images are in jpg format. If we have images in png format, we would have typed png and so on. That's why it is important to have all images in same format. We have successfully created our images links. Now let's move to VBA. In your excel file, here you can see a developer tab. But if you don't have a developer tab, then click here on file, click on options, click on customized ribbon, place a check at this developer checkbox, press ok. Now you can see the developer tab here, click on developer tab, move your cursor here at visual basic, as you can see. The shortcut key for opening Visual Basic is Alt plus F11. You can use it as well. Click on Visual Basic. 
a new window will appear. Click on insert button, select module, a new blank module will be created. Now copy the VBA codes from the description below and paste it here and save it. Come back to excel file, click on file, click on save as, select your desired location, a new window will appear. Click on save as type, select excel macro enabled workbook from the drop down and save. Now let me explain you how our macro will work. Open the module we have saved earlier, alt plus f11. As you can see here, I have defined some variables. Last recipient number. Last recipient number is the last WhatsApp number in column B. As you can see here, we have 6 WhatsApp numbers. So our last recipient number will be the 6th one. If we have 50 WhatsApp numbers, then our last recipient number would be the 50th one. And like this, the value will change automatically as per numbers of recipients. Now let's move to our next variable x. We have defined x as row number from where our macro will start messaging to the last number. For example, here we have 6 recipients numbers and we want to send message from 4th row. So here in the module, we will change the value of x to 4 and it will skip these 3 rows and will start taking recipient's number and message from this fourth row. Here we have to define the location of WhatsApp numbers. As we have our recipient's WhatsApp numbers in column B of sheet 1, so here we will write sheet 1. In range we will write column B. And X is the row number which we have already defined earlier. Similarly. We will follow the same pattern for defining the location for text messages. Here we will write sheet 1 and as our text messages are in column C, so in range we will write column C and again X is the row number. Dispatch message is defined as it will take recipient's WhatsApp number and their text message and it will open WhatsApp web application. Now if there is a link provided for images in column G, then it will insert that following image in excel sheet otherwise it will skip it then it will copy it and then paste that image along with text message into whatsapp web application here we have set time intervals for 5 seconds for copying and for sending messages respectively and then message will be sent after message is sent the image previously copied will be deleted next x Next X will create a loop and next message along with its image will be sent one by one till the last recipient number receives their message. After all messages are sent, a message box will appear indicating that messages are sent. Now let's install WhatsApp web application. Open your browser, type whatsapp.com slash download. Click on download for Windows. Save the file, run it once it is downloaded, login by scanning QR code and here our WhatsApp web is installed. Now let's come back to our excel sheet one. Now open VBA alt plus F11. Now finally it's time to execute our macro. To execute macro. Press send button. Here we can see our macro is opening WhatsApp web application. Now it is asking permission for sending message. Place check on do not ask again. Ok. As we can see here our macro is attaching the image along with text and the message is sent. Finally, all the messages are sent to their recipients along with images respective. If you liked this video, please subscribe, like and comment below. Thank you.